What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Gabby Bombalon. And I'm Paul Sabulo. Today is December 16th, and we're here with your distance learning announcements. Starting off, let's see the recent lockdown updates with Yash. Hey, Wolfpack, it's Josiah Edwards. And I'm Yash Sharma. And we're here with your COVID news. Due to ICU capacities of all the California regions, all but Northern California and the Bay Area remains under 15%. As a result, the stay-at-home order has been issued. All of the following business and activities will remain closed. Hotels, personal care services including nail, hair, tattoo, etc., museums, zoos, aquariums, entertainment centers, and bars slash breweries will remain closed for the remainder of the lockdown. Both retail and malls will operate indoors at 20% capacity. Medical offices will be open as well as modifications. Places of worship will only be allowed to operate outside and restaurants are takeout only. The nighttime curfew is under effect from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. with the access of essential activities allowed during the curfew. The Pittsburgh vaccine is expected to be approved for emergency use by the FDA advisory panel soon. Maryland is set to receive the COVID vaccine for two dozen hospitals. The distribution of the vaccine in Maryland will be administered to healthcare workers and high risk officials first. Essential workers and medium risk individuals will receive the vaccine next after the general population. That's all we have for your COVID news today, Wolfpack. Back to you, anchors. Thank you, Yash. Now let's see what Julian has for us. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 30 series cards were announced to the public on September 1st, 2020 and started shipping on September 17th, 2020. These cards are currently the most powerful graphics cards to come out yet, and they come with many more features than the other graphics cards can't compete with. The 30 series graphics cards are the RTX 3060 Ti, the RTX 3070, the RTX 3080, and the RTX 3090. With the 3060 Ti starting at a base price of $399 and the 3090 starting at a whopping $1,499. When the cards came out, they sold out almost immediately due to the scalpers using bots to buy the cards to resell them at a high price. And this doesn't help with the fact that there was a lack of pre-order functionality and a high demand. And many sites struggled with the amount of cards purchased on the launch day and retailers who had the cards had very long lines outside. But the reason why these cards sold out so fast was because how much more powerful they are compared to the previous generation of graphics cards. These graphics cards would allow ray tracing in video games which allows real time lighting within games and acts and simulates as if it was real lighting which includes reflection, refraction, scattering, etc. Not only that, but it features better graphics in every single game, higher frame rates, and allows games to be played at 4K and 8K resolution, making these cards very advanced for its time. Thanks, Julian. Now let's check out our sports update with John Sheehan. What's up, Wolfpack? I'm John Sheehan, back at it again with your weekly sports update. This week, we're going to be talking about basketball. Keontae Johnson, the University of Florida men's basketball player who collapsed mid-game on Saturday, is now breathing on his own, talking with family, and in stable condition, according to his parents. Johnson was walking onto the court after a timeout early in Saturday's game against the Florida State Seminoles when he collapsed, according to ESPNU broadcasters. He was taken off the floor on a stretcher and transported to Tallahassee Memorial Hospital where team spokesman announced Johnson was in critical but stable condition. Now, we all know the Ball brothers, and the youngest of the three Ball brothers, LaMelo Ball, and possibly the most well-known, has been drafted to the Hornets as the number third pick in the first round of the NBA draft. As the third overall pick in the 2020 NBA draft, it is estimated that Ball's rookie contract will be worth an estimated $16.1 million over his first two years. Anthony Davis and the Los Angeles Lakers have formally agreed to a five-year maximum contract worth $190 million. The deal includes an early termination option prior to the fifth season. Davis previously declined his $28.7 million player option in order to work out a new deal. This deal comes the day after the Lakers agreed to a maximum two-year $85 million contract extension with four-time NBA champ LeBron James. His deal will run through 2023. That's all I have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm John Sheehan, and this has been your weekly sports update. Thanks, John. This week is book returns. Please check the dates and times along with the textbooks that need to be returned.
Remember, you must stay in your vehicle and staff will be wearing masks and gloves. Well, that's all I have for you today, Wolf Pack. I'm Paul Cibulo. And I'm Gabby Bonbon. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have a great day, Wolf Pack.